You want it like seawater. OK. So taste it, because that's the best water to cook the pasta in. Well, I feel pretty terrible that I missed Alma's birthday, because she's always cooking for me. Whenever I come home, there's food on the table. So I want to show her that I care just as much for her as she does for me. We're making the things that she likes, the garlic bread, you know, pasta with sauce, and you know, very simple. But it'll all work out really well. And all the way in, all the way out. Look, you look like you're trying to tear it apart. No, watch your sauce. It'll burn quickly. You don't have to be that particular. We're just going to melt it. Hey, you let me do it here, Paul. This is my meal I'm making. He's supposed to be teaching me. And here he is, trying to do everything himself. Whoa, whoa. Dude, that's pepper, not. So I threw some onions in the pasta. Give give it a little kick. How do you think? It's boiling up nice. What's floating in the water? Oh, that's onion. Why did you put onion you in there? You needed some flavor. It's going to be all right. So everything's set with a surprise. Phyllis is going to take Alma out, bring her home right in time. 6 o'clock, we'll be all set. Dude, you can't do 6 o'clock. What's wrong with 6? I'm trying to figure out now how I'm going to tell him that my mother wants to have it at 4, because I certainly don't want to tell him that I told her. I told everybody 6 o'clock. It's tonight. <laughs> I know it's tonight, but you, you, you got to see if you can get people there earlier. I'll try. Guess list is going to be cut short, though. It might just be me and you, I think. Now we'll be lucky if the dogs even show up for the party. It's going to be great. Yeah. Can't wait. Then the surprise on top of it, this is going to be. Don't worry about the surprise. This is the you and me thing. Brandon's going to kill me. Let's focus on the food. I got to go back out front. All right, let's do it. 